How to build trust in sales. If you are in the sales business or you require or need someone to sign off on that agreement to, in order for you to make a living, or let's just say you're a realtor, you're an insurance agent or whatever it is, and you require to close a deal, then you definitely want to hear what I have to say to you right now. How do you build trust in your clients? I'm Paul R. Atkinson. I am the author of The Five Steps of the Sale. My book was released in April of 2022. And I'm gonna give you some tips from this book right now that you can use to build trust in your business with your selling systems that you have in place. In case you don't know, for you to close someone in a deal, you must have some sort of systematic approach to doing this. And one of the first things that you should do is to get a connection with that client. And that's how you build trust. But there's some special techniques to do that, and there's three in particular that I'm going to talk to you about. So you want to stick around and make sure that you get a pen and paper handy so you could write down these three techniques. All right? Their association, mirror, and psychological reciprocity. So I'm going to give them to you. I'm going to go a little bit in depth so you could kind of understand it. But don't worry, remember, in the description below, you can always find the resources to get more in depth. So let's let's talk about it and it's near and dear to me how do you build trust with your client i don't know what field you're in but obviously it is some kind of selling system that you have in your business maybe you're a car salesman maybe you sell life insurance like i did many years ago Perhaps you, you know, when I was in the United States Navy, I mean, maybe you sell um, your recruiter for a company and you need to persuade and influence the individual to choose your product or service. So trust is important, just as how it is important when you're in a relationship, like a personal relationship, a marriage, a friendship, a courting, right? It doesn't matter. Trust is important. And so it is in your business. Too many of us walk around here and don't even realize that. But I'm going to show you just how to build it. But first, I want you to know that it's necessary in order for you to close the deal. And not only just close the deal, but how do you get repeat business? How do you get somebody to think of you first whenever your product or service comes to their life? in general. They're talking to a co-worker, they're at the grocery store, they're at the salon or barbershop, wherever they are. And the moment somebody says, oh yeah, you know, I, I need to buy a house, I think I need to buy insurance policy, or I'm thinking of buying a car. Bumps! How do you be that first one to trust? And I'm going to show you how to do that. So now that you know that trust is important for you in your business, how do you get trust inside of the relationship with your client? There's three techniques that I talk about inside of this book, right? To take your product or your service. That's what it is. It's not to push them the wrong way. Uh, it's actually the right way because they're wanting and needing something and you have that. That is what this is about. So step one is for you to be able to make a connection with that prospect. You should, in step one, get the prospect to like you, to listen to you. Think about listening to you now. Let's just pause right here. Like you, listen to you. Well, do you know that you could do a presentation and the audience is not listening to you because they don't like you? Are you aware of that? There could be some mental block that... The, or they're just in their device. They, I don't care. They don't care about this person. So you've got to get the person to like you, to listen to you, to trust you, and to believe in you. And that's step one. And that's what we're going to cover today, right? Step one, conversation in the five steps of the sale. Now, step two is curiosity. Step three is conviction. Step four is desire. And then step five is close. 
But we're talking about how do you get a client to trust you in sales? Making the connection and doing things that will build the trust in the relationship. Like, for example, let's say right now as you look at your phone, right? You may have this cell phone here, this device, yeah? And do you know that in today's market, you could use this technology to build trust? <laughs> you can. Let me tell you how I do it. Because of this technology today, right? And let's just give you a live example. Let's say I'm a realtor and I have a seller. And the seller uh, have, you know, me list their house. And we just did a showing. And the seller and I spoke and the seller says, hey, Paul, you know, yesterday, last night, you know, John came by, the realtor named John came by and they brought a buyer, lady and a man. Um, what's going on? Can you tell me, would they have any feedback? Well, how do I build trust with my seller consistently? Well, you know what I do? I go ahead and I call John, right? Typically, John doesn't answer. The realtor doesn't answer. And I like that because I could show my efforts. I prepare a text message to John, that agent. And I text, hey, John, Paul Atkinson here. Last night you showed 123 Sycamore Street. And I just wanted to follow up. The seller and I are wondering if we could move forward. How does your buyer like the property? Well, that's a text message. And my signature, Paul Atkinson, right? So he can remember or she can remember. That agent is going to reply. Here's the reply, typically. Or sometimes it's, you know, for the good. But sometimes you get the reply like this. Paul, thank you very much. The house uh, is too small. Or uh, it's not what the buyer is looking for. And they're going to continue to look. You take that information where you text requesting a feedback. And you got the feedback. Screenshot it. Circle the feedback. Kick it over to your seller. Your seller sees and hear you telling them, hey, listen, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to text it to the seller, the feedback, and then you're going to call the seller at the same time. Just give it a few minutes. Let them be able to read that text. A few minutes. And then you call them. Hey, Mr. Seller, Miss Seller, how you doing? Just want you to know I heard back from the realtor and I sent it to you by text message. They feel that the property is like too small. It's not for them. You know, that's okay. We're going to keep moving forward. You could build trust with one, that one little technique. Building trust is important, as we mentioned before. So now uh, you want the goodies, right? You want what, I, what you came for. And then we're going to wrap this up. Three techniques you could use to build trust in your business and to get your prospect to like you. The five steps of the sale. Step one, conversation. Get that prospect to like you, listen to you, trust you, and believe in you. Three things you can use to do that. The first thing is called the association technique. And remember, in the description below, get the link and take a look at the association technique. The association technique is where if you're on a phone and you hear an accent or you hear a noise or you hear something that you can associate to, they're playing music and maybe it's low key or you hear pots and pans or something. You can associate to that and you could say, oh, wow, it sounds like you're getting ready to cook something right now. I hear those pots moving or it sounds like you're driving right now. You know, I love to drive uh, this car that I just bought. It's a convertible. You can associate with what you're hearing. OK, if you're in front of the prospect, right, and you see that. Perhaps they're wearing glasses. You could say, oh, wow, you know what? Um, I wear glasses too and, you know, I'm bifocal and mine's a traditional lens. I, I just got my eggs. You can associate with the client. That's important. That's number one. You could use association technique to build the connection and build trust. Number two, you can use the mirroring technique. The mirroring technique is when you are mirroring your client and typically of course you're gonna to have to be in front of them either you're on a zoom call or you're on something that would be like uh, in person and you could mirror how they sit how they put their hands obviously this is not good right but if someone really likes you they're not doing this they're more like in your face and they're liking you so you have to pay attention to that right but if they cross their leg, you cross your leg. You know, if they're having a sip of their drink, you know, you have a little sip too. But don't get, you know, over excessive with it. 
It's a psychological way for you to build that trust with the person by doing what they do. That's all it is to it. It's not a bad thing, people. It's not. It's a good thing. The third one is psychological reciprocity. And this is where you give your client or your prospect credit for their beliefs and their values. And they're morally obligated to give you credit for your belief and your values. Isn't that interesting? It's all here. And I know this was a short run, but this is valuable, valuable information. How to build trust in your selling system that you're using today. How to build trust in sales. Do you get it? It's phenomenal. I'm Paul R. Atkinson, your professional coach and the author of The Five Steps of the Sale. And this video was for you to get the three tips on how to build trust. Remember them very clearly. The first tip was for you to use the association technique. The second one was for you to use the mirroring technique. And the third one was for you to use psychological reciprocity. Do you use them all the time or every event? Maybe, maybe not. But it's for you to be able to learn the styles and use them to build trust. I've got to run. Until next time, I will see you real soon. Remember, click in the description right now and do subscribe. And also remember to connect with me, right? Just follow the links or just set an appointment by texting me your time and date that you're available. And I look forward to seeing you real soon. Until next time, let's go get them, Tiger.